yesterday uh, the ability to control your camera using a wireless keyboard so this is from an old case I had on my other old iPad Pro the case broke but the keyboard still works um, it's a Bluetooth keyboard it's kind of cool there's a lot of really cool functions that you can basically control an iPad with just with the wireless keyboard um, I found out it also works on Androids um, so as long as you have a wireless keyboard that can link up with your phone or your tablet you'll be able to do in-game camera control um, if you're wondering like in-game camera control what the heck is that I'm just gonna show you a quick um, I'm gonna show you a quick uh, the use of it using the tutorial because this way nobody will shoot at you and stuff like that um, all right recruit step forward so if I hit the minus key I can actually zoom in right away if I hit the plus key I mean the equal key it zooms out so if I zoom in like this you can actually see the weapons are really detailed and so is the character models even though we're looking at it from this far away um, the game actually has a lot of detail um, the next thing you can do is you can rotate the camera to the right or I could say this is counterclockwise because the clock is going backwards if you follow the line as the, the hand of the clock and this is going clockwise that's with the close bracket so open bracket counterclockwise close bracket clockwise right um, then you can tilt the camera up by hitting the semicolon key so you can get a, a, a top view and then you can tilt the camera down by hitting the quote or double quote key and then this way I can actually see the character and then if I rotate the camera and let's say we zoom in let me move the camera the character forward a little bit you can see that it's pretty detailed it's a pretty dim cramped damn detailed model man it's really detailed so I'm gonna zoom out a little bit and go to that dot that it actually asked me to go to so what's kind of cool about it too is it allows you to look at the game in different angles and different modes too so this is the Gnu more up ahead let's get a move on so if they wanted to let's say if I just keep rotating the camera I can make this play a lot more like Fortnite and play it from this direction Help them. There they are wounded. That's, that's, that's. Heavy ammo ahead. Grab it while you can. And again, I can keep rotating the camera. So, oh, this is cool. So let's zoom in a little bit. A juggernaut. Yowzers. Use your heavy weapon. Zoom out, zoom out. Damn, this is really cool. Now we get to see this much detail on the models. This is Odie's people, or Odie's um, planetary species. Oh, cool, I can see all of his eyes. Jerk. Nicely done. Pop the gap and jump to the far island. Don't look down. And this is the gap. Roll over. So I'm going to pull out a little bit, just so you can see. What's kind of cool about it is you can actually see the whole map. You can see the whole setup for this actual map. And if I just start switching over to the top view a little bit, if I keep zooming out, So this is the whole island that we're doing this stuff on. So that's like what's really cool about this. I can give you an overview of the island, the tutorial island. I can rotate around the island. And I can zoom all the way back in. 
What's funny too is the character still can move. You can still see her moving there. You've got friends in trouble. Fire at will. Which one of them is real? Fixed right to its right angle. So, the whole thing about it is if you ever want to see the normal angle again, as soon as I go into primal, it automatically shifts back into the right angle. Um, if I tilt and pitch the camera, change the angle, turn the rotation of the angle, and I transform into primal, I can keep the same zoom in everything that I'm using. But if I was just to zoom out, primals when i transform into a primal the game zooms back in it, it's a natural thing that was added in 0 0.7 so if you want to keep your view the same way you just have to make sure you tilt the camera a little bit and you zoom in a little bit and you rotate a little bit and then this will allow you to be able to see the game in a different view first trip to the welcome isles i see the name's Dal. let me show you around but that is really interesting. I had no idea that the character models were that detailed, even in that tiny little, um, even in the version that we were playing. I was assuming that they basically completely reduced the polygon count on the models and makes them like really easy to see um, or really easy to, um, to generate. But the character we're seeing right here, standing here in the front of us in this screen, and the characters that we see in the loadout screen are pretty much what you're seeing in game. So that's kind of crazy. I, I really would have thought it would have been a lot more reduced, um, but it, it's not. Um, it's like I said, it's it's kind of weird where people say like, "Oh, the art of this game is horrible. It's cartoony," compared to games like, um, let's say, a game like um, Brawl Stars. This is not cartoony at all. It's an aesthetic style chosen. It's more like an animation style from like, if you're looking at Pixar or some of the stuff that you see like that, those animated movies where the characters are oversized on their, like the men are really big on their top, but their legs are really thin. And the women are all built in a very similar, slim type body model. But that's pretty much it. It's not that the, maybe you don't like the art style, but to say it's cartoony, what? Did you see me zoom out of that island? Did you see that Granu up close? Did that look like a cartoon to you? It's like, I think a lot of people mistake like what they think. It's fine if you don't like the art style. There's nothing wrong with it. 